I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. You can find that in Psalms 122.1. Greetings in the name of Jesus. We are so blessed to be chosen by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to host this anointed radio broadcast. We thank you for tuning in to a time of reflection uh, with New Destiny Ministries. I'm your co-host, Sister Ruby Larry. Our founder and host is out at a, 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 a parade today, and they're uh, going for uh, to, to Jesus about the, the, the declaration and the thing of uh, freeing us from slavery in 18, I think it's 63 or 53. I need to get my things right. But she's out there marching with them. So we just thank the Lord for our founder and host, Evangelist Adrian Bernard, that's out there in the field with her and all the ones, uh, Michael Lewis, Prophet Michael Lewis, her brother Air, uh, uh, Earl, and uh, her family, each and every one of them out there, and all of uh, Corinthians family, and everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. is from different churches. So we're so excited and blessed. So here we is, a time of reflection airs Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Also, tune in to early Sunday morning prayer with us at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, our Saturday segment is They Overcame with host Elder Albert and Minister Billy Burns. And they're out of North Carolina, and their broadcast is on 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Our call-in number for all segments uh, is 858-683-1334. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 5702, Stockton, California, 95205. Our email address is newdestiny54 at yahoo.com. We always enjoy hearing from you. Email us a call in and join the live broadcast and give us your praise report and or prayer request. If you would like us to broadcast it on the line, we're more than welcome to bring it on so that the men and women and all over the world can hear your praise report or prayer request. If you like to listen to any of our previous broadcasts, please visit our archives on blogtalkradio.com and search for New Destiny Ministries or visit our website at www.newdestinyministries.com. We appreciate and are very thankful for your tremendous support of the godly men and women of God that willingly share the anointed, powerful word of God with each of you that call in and those that visit this broadcast. And please continue to pray God's will for this ministry. Don't sign off because God has a rhema word just for you. God has a rhema word just for you. And with that, we're going to turn it over to our minister, Minister Liberal Democrat, all the way from Los Angeles, California, and we're just so excited and blessed that the Lord has placed this vessel into this family of broadcast, New Destiny Ministry. And with that, we're going to ask him to pray and bring forth the rhema word that the Lord has given him for his people today. Amen. Uh, minister Democrat. Amen, amen. I'm in a day that I've never been in before. Okay. Hallelujah. You have made us into 2014. Amen. We never saw this day before. Some of us, God, we didn't even know that we was going to make it here. Amen. Many did not make it into this day. But, Lord, we want to just say thank you, Jesus. Ha! Ah, hallelujah. Lord, we want to tell you thank you, God. Hallelujah. Because you did not have to do it. Amen. But you did. Amen to God. So many of those have fallen by the wayside, God. Hallelujah. But you have kept us not only alive, amen, but in the faith. And God, we begin to pray, God, amen, that you kept us here. It has to be for a reason. Hallelujah. Amen to God. And we pray, God, that amen to God, that that mantle that you put over our life, Amen to God, that you send angels to protect it. Because, God, we cannot do anything by ourselves. And being in this new day that we've never seen before, God. Oh, God, we're going to ask you to do something in 2014 that you've never done before. Amen. And help us, God. Amen. Because we want something. 
Amen. The God that, that, that we have never gotten before, we're going to have to also do something that we've never done before. We ask God that you send them angels. Amen, amen, amen. To help us, oh God. Because we understand, oh God, hallelujah, that, amen, oh God, there is going to be trials and there's going to be tribulations. Amen. But God, you said you have already prayed for us. Those that are sitting in that car right now, God, that's listening to this broadcast. I want you to say out loud that God has already prayed for me. Ha! Ah, hallelujah. He's already prayed for me. Those of you that are sitting at the table listening to this broadcast, I need you to touch and agree with us that God has already prayed for me. Whatever situation you are in, I want you to say this affirmation. I am going through this. I am going through this. God has already prayed. And, and amen to God. Y'all might want to, I, I don't want y'all to say this literally, but I want you to say your specific situation. You might want to put your phone on mute because y'all don't want your business out. But I want you to say what you are going through. Amen. Lord, I'm going through this, whether I'm going through this financial thing, whether I'm going through this, amen, this health crisis thing, whether I'm going through this relationship thing, whether I'm going through this situation, whatever it is, I want you to speak it right now and say, but Lord, I have this assurance that you have already prayed for me. Hallelujah. Amen. God, I want you to say it again. Your phone's on mute. I can't hear you. I don't, I don't know your business, but amen to God. Amen. We need to speak things out loud sometimes. Lord, I'm going through this. Amen. Whatever your this is. But amen, I have this assurance. Amen. That you've already prayed for me. Hallelujah. Even when 2014 wasn't here yet, you knew what my today would be like. Hallelujah. You knew what my tomorrow is going to be like, and you know what my next year is going to be like. And for that, I tell you, thank you, Lord. Amen. Begin to give God a wave off right now. I thank you for already praying for me, God. Lord, I thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Because you knew my tomorrow before I even saw it. Amen. You knew, amen, to God, before I was going to call in here, what I was going to go through, God. But, oh, thank you, Jesus, had it not been for you on my side, amen, where would I be? So I want to start this year off in this broadcast by telling you thank you, amen, amen. Lord, we thank you right now, God, and ask God you continue, oh, God, to break up the follow ground that this word can fall on good ground, amen, and that somebody can receive it, and each one teach one and share it with somebody else. We pray right now, God, we cover the overseer, God. Amen. As Andrew Bernard, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, as they're at where they are, God. Amen. Celebrating Freedom Day. Amen. Oh God, cover them, oh God. Amen. Begin to pray, oh God. We pray that those angels be released, oh God. That the right paperwork, amen, oh God, is in the right person's mind right now, being configured, amen, for her sister to also celebrate Freedom Day, one of these old days, oh God, from that petition that they have out there signing, God, that somebody will be touched, oh God, to take that petition to their governor, amen, to take that petition, amen, God, there's somebody that can affect some kind of change, because somebody is not free today, God, somebody is bound today as we pray, God, amen, as we yet pray, as we yet preach, as we yet teach, God. We pray that those cell doors be open, oh God. We pray that that mind get open that was closed, that that heart that was closed get open, oh God. From this prayer we pray in Jesus' name. And somebody said, Amen. I want us to turn in our Bibles. Amen. It's the book of Acts, chapter number 27. Amen. Very familiar scripture. Amen. Those of you that listen online, BibleGateway.com. Amen, and, 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 and this go Acts, amen, chapter 27, amen, and we're going to read, amen, verses 29 through 31, a very familiar scripture, and it seems fitting, amen, that we are in a new season, amen, so while you're getting that, amen, we are in a new season, amen, to God, and, 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 and you're not where you were yesterday, because Regardless of the situation, the place, or whatever, you have never saw this day before. This is the first day that you ever saw 
January 1st in 2014. You never saw this day before. And, and while many of us are celebrating, January 1st, some of us are still going through. While everybody else is celebrating, amen, yes, the slaves were free on January 1st. Yes, we left 2013. But amen, I got somebody is still going through. The book of Acts, chapter number 27, verse 29, Then fearing, lest we should have fallen upon rocks, they cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship. I'm talking to somebody. Somebody about to say, Lord, I'm about to backslide. I can't take it no more. Somebody saying, Amen to God, I, I can't hold my peace no more. I can't I can't get through another minute. I can't do another year, God. I can't I can't hold on. They have diagnosed me. I don't think I can I can do this. But 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 and as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea under color as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. And that's a word that we want to give you that's listening to this call today. You called in for a reason. You didn't know why you'd be listening to this broadcast, but this is your rhema word for you today. No matter how hard the situation is right now, no matter what the problem is, no matter how difficult the situation is, except ye abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Somebody said amen. Hallelujah. Except you abide in the ship. Amen. You cannot be saved. God is very concerned this morning, this afternoon or tonight, where you are abiding. At the word abide, look it up in Wikipedia. Google the word abide, A-B-I-D-E. Amen. Uh, look that word up in, in, in Bing and, 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 and Google and whatnot, and you'll find that abide means where are you living at. And, 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 and the ship, amen to God, was like a type when God was saying, stay in the boat. Amen. In other words, when drama is going on outside of you, the safest place is still in the will of God. So God is concerned this morning where are you living at. Because there are three places that people like to live at instead of abiding in the word of God. Many of us this morning, this afternoon, this second, at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time and 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time and 3.30 a.m. Standard Time, somebody is living in fear. Amen. Somebody else is living in denial and somebody else is living in the past. Amen. But, 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 but the word today to you Except you abide in the ship, ye shall not be saved. It didn't say live or abide. Abide means to live. Somebody say abide means to live. Amen abide to God. So, amen, amen. I'm, I'm going to let, let our Alma Bella say it because she speaks with authority. What does abide mean, woman of God? Abide means to stay in the ship. To stay in the ship. So in other words... My question to you today is, where are you living at? 
Amen, amen, because he said to you, amen, God, except ye abide in the ship. Now, there, there was a, a shipwreck. The Bible tells us that when, when Apostle Paul was on that ship, amen, the, the, the waves were, were going around and whatnot, and the wind was blowing, and people were fearing for their life, and many were about to jump out of the ship. And I know a lot of us saying that being saved ain't been easy. I don't, I don't know about you, but amen to God, walking, amen, like Jesus walked ain't an easy thing. Amen to God, talking like Jesus talked is not an easy thing. The, the Bible tells us that, amen to God, David said, amen to God, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, I almost slipped. Amen. But my question today, where are you living at? Amen. When we look in those three things where people live at, many of us like to live in fear. When the Bible says that I can do all things through Christ, many of us, we, says, no, that's not where I want to live. I want to live in fear. And, and when you set up shop and when you live in a specific place, amen, to God, that's where you rest at. That's where you sleep at. That's where you dwell at. My question to you today, where are you living at? We've been talking about the seasons and how the weather is changing around us, and, and we are entering into a new season today. Amen to God. We are in 2014. Now, many of us say, well, 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 they say this message every single year, but I want you to get what changes the season. Amen, amen to God, when you got the spring and the summer and the autumn and the winter, they are marked by particular weather patterns, amen to God, and daylight hours, amen, resulting uh, from the earth's changing position with regards to the sun. Now, I'm asking you, and the reason that is important, amen to God, because where you live at affects your season. Oh, somebody said, amen, I received that. Where you are living at affects your season. It already said, and I'm just reading definitions, y'all. If you want to look up what a season means, just go Google it, go Bing it, Wikipedia it, look it up in a dictionary. I just looked up the word season, and they said, amen to God, they are marked, these four seasons, the spring, the summer, the autumn, and the winter, are marked by a particular weather pattern and daylight hours resulting from the earth's changing position regarding the sun. My question today is where are you living at? Except ye abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. So we begin to look at our planet earth. Amen. And as the planet begins to tilt, Toward the sun, a certain direction, the, the weather patterns begin to change on the planet. And amen to God, I don't know about you, but every now and then, when I get away from God and I stop praying and I stop fasting, amen to God, my atmosphere begins to change where I live at. But when I begin to tilt towards the sun and, and amen, God, and begin to, amen, read my Bible, when I begin to pray and begin to, amen, to God, fast and begin to consider what God said, my atmosphere changes for the better. Amen. In other words, when I'm praying, I'm living on the ship. When I'm fasting, I'm on the ship in spite of the atmosphere. Somebody said, amen to God, but, 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 brother teacher, you said, amen to God, we affect our atmosphere, how we act towards the sun. So, so, amen to God, so are you telling me if I'm not, amen, if the earth is turning away from the sun, amen to God, amen to God, there's going to be drama on the earth, and I'm saying yes. And so you telling me, brother teacher, if, if I'm moving away, amen, I might got something to do with my atmosphere changing, it might not be all on the devil. Amen. If you wanted to praise the devil this morning, you came to the wrong place. Amen to God, because God done did too much for me in 2013 all the way up to 2014. So he will get no credit for me on this phone this morning. Amen. I can do all things through Christ, 
which has strengthened me. So I'm telling you today, amen, to God, that your atmosphere around you, you can begin to affect it. Yes, the devil does what he does, but I'm telling you, amen, to God, if you begin to tilt towards the sun, amen, just like the earth, amen, to God, tilts towards the sun, you can affect your atmosphere. So I'm asking you this afternoon and this morning and tonight, where are you living at? Amen. If you are living in fear, amen, you have been paralyzed. And, and amen to God, those on that ship, I can imagine they begin to look at the situation. They begin to look at the rain. And right now it's raining somewhere. And amen to God, they begin to look at the wind that is blowing and whatnot. And, then, and every time they begin to, to put the stuff up, the wind would blow it down. And the people begin to look at the situation. But Jesus is saying today, amen to God, amen to God, I want you to come out of that fear. Amen. And keep your eyes on me. Amen. When he told Peter to walk out on the water, Peter was all right until he stopped looking at the situations. Amen to God. And then when he began to look at the situation instead of look at God, he began to sink in the water. And why? Because his body was on the water, but his mind was in another place. Where are you living at? So many of us, amen to God, are in denial. And I'm talking about the places that you abide in, the places that you chose to live at. And amen to God, in these three places is where you chose. Now, now, now God wants you to live, amen. He said, where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty. I want you to live in the Word of God. I want you to live, amen to God, what I've taught you. I want you to live, amen, in perfect peace. But instead, we've chosen these three places to live in fear, in denial, and in the past. In denial, in other words, amen to God, when we know that we don't have no power, and we keep blaming and say, Lord, how come I failed this test? And Lord, how come I failed this test? Amen to God, I read the word, but amen to God, I have not let it come inside of me. I read the word, amen to God, but I had not, amen to God, let it become a part of of who I am. So in other words, amen to God, I, I, I accepted the word. I call myself a Christian, but like Greg Rossell says in his book, amen to God, I'm a Christian atheist. I'm living like he don't exist. So amen to God, if I say I'm a Christian, but I'm living like he don't exist, amen, I'm a Christian atheist. Where are you living today? You might say, amen to God, but I, I put money down on this house. I paid this mortgage off. Amen to God, I've, I've been paying rent here for so long, so I live at this specific address. And I know that I'm living there because I pay money to live here. And you need to ask yourself a question. What have you given up to live where you live at now? If you chose to live in fear, it cost you something. Amen to God. And if you are living in fear, amen, and I'm, I'm speaking to somebody today, amen to God, because we're talking about amen to God. Yes, this is a New Year's message. Yes, amen to God, it's an encouraging message. But I'm trying to get you to change your address, amen to God, because in 2013, many of us lived in bad neighborhoods. In 2013, many of us lived in places, amen to God, amen, not, not nice areas, amen to God. Many of us lived in places, amen to God, where you couldn't, amen, amen, get God's spirit like you want to get it at. But amen to God, in this conversation, by the end of this message, we're going to try to get somebody to, amen, change their dress, except you abide in the ship. You shall not be saved. So many of us, we look at where we're living at, and we look at our situations, and we wonder why we can't get prayers through. Amen. They tell me that people are trying to pray over stuff in the Bible. They would say, Lord, we're praying and we're praying and we're praying, but God ain't nothing working. And God told the man of God to tell them to stop praying that there was sin in the camp. Amen. We need to come out of denial and stop saying I can pray over everything and blaming God when it doesn't happen. God is telling us, amen to God, we need to stop living in denial. Amen to God, amen to God. If, if God wants you to do something, amen to God, God said do it. Amen to God, but don't ask God to do everything in 2014. 
The Bible says, amen, in the book of Acts chapter 27, when he began to tell them these things and whatnot, amen, they got about renunciation. He began to tell them again, there are certain things in your life that's affecting your atmosphere. Amen to God. Amen. You jumped out of the boat because, amen to God, it got too hard for you. Amen to God. You said, amen to God, I'm not going to pay my tithes because I've got this bill due. So, amen to God, you begin to rob God. And then you begin to say, Lord, I'm not going to be celibate because, amen, I'm lonely and I'm depressed. So, amen to God, you jump out the boat for a companion. But after all of that, you find yourself still lonely and still broke. And then you look at yourself and say, but Lord, amen to God, you wouldn't want me to go through this. You know my heart. Heart. But God is saying, amen to God, it's not about you, amen to God. He that follows God must decrease, and God must increase, except ye abide in the ship. You cannot be saved. The Bible talks about, amen, in this particular season, it's very important to be dressed a certain way. He even goes on to say, having your feet shod in the preparation of the gospel. The word shod means to have something on your feet. Now, you can tell when someone has something on their feet because, amen to God, when they're walking through dangerous territory, like walking um, on, on a, 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 a driveway that got rocks in it, they'll walk on it and don't even worry about it. Or if they got to walk through water and they got they shod on, they got shoes on, they're walking anyway. But people who don't have shoes on their feet, you notice they are walking a little bit differently. Amen to God. And, 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 and this is what we're talking about now. It's time to come out of denial. Amen to God. Because a lot of us, we're saying, well, I'm, I'm a Christian because I believe in God. But amen to God, you, how have you been walking lately? When you, when, you, when you come on that rocky driveway, and it's like you're barefoot, amen, when someone is barefoot, and you walk in on a rocky driveway, amen, God, your walk is going to be different. Your gait is going to be different. And we talked about the word gait. It just means how uh, your, your arms and legs and, and your movements are when you're walking across something. You can be identified how you are walking. And so, amen, God, I'm trying to pull somebody out of denial now because some of us are living in denial. But, amen, if you notice the how you're walking, the Bible said, have your feet shod. Now, every time you read that again, I want you to get the uh, analogy that it means have something on your feet that's going to protect your feet. Amen to God, this is very important to have something on your feet. Because if you have something on your feet, and this is important, amen to God, have a spiritual shoe on. Because a spiritual shoe, amen to God, is something to aid your movement. This piece of armor is to, amen to God, aid you in movement and defense, and not our appearance. Amen to God. So, so a lot of us, when we wear shoes, we wonder how they look. But amen to God, a shoe is supposed to help you get over terrible terrain. A shoe, amen to God, is supposed to protect you, amen to God, hallelujah, and aid you in your movement, amen, but not in your appearance. And many of us are worried about how we will look. Amen. If I let people know that I'm suffering from this, amen to God, hallelujah, amen to God, they won't look at me like this no more. If I, if I let people think that I, I'm, I'm suffering from that, amen to God, so we start to begin to live in denial, but people can see you walking, and, I'm, and I want you to imagine somebody walking barefoot, amen, I got over a rocky driveway, and I want you to imagine how they look when they're walking barefoot over that driveway, and then, amen, I got, now you in denial, amen, I got, and you looking like I'm all right when people say, how you doing, and you say, I'm all right, and they say, how you doing, I'm good, God be the glory, but people can see how you tiptoeing in that rock, and they can see how, how, how somebody can get the visual, how you walking on that rock rocky driveway and whatnot. Somebody is living in denial. Amen. By the end of this message, hopefully we're going to get you to change your address. So, amen to God, when the Bible said, have your feet shod in the preparation of the gospel, have something on your feet, amen, amen, to protect you while you walk in, amen to God, your feet shod in the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen to God. So, 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 so if you are not, amen, God, have protection on, you can't walk everywhere, everybody else. So, so you're wondering, I've been losing a lot of battles lately, Lord. Amen to God. I've, I've, I've been, amen to God, when I'm walking, amen to God, I'm not walking like, amen to God, a Christian should walk. Amen to God, because I, amen to God, I find myself losing some battles. But it's all right to lose some battles because the war is not over. Amen to God. But now that you've called into this broadcast, it's time for you to put some shoes on. 
Amen. It's time for when you walk through that terrain that can cut up your feet and, and that, can, that can hurt you and whatnot and wet your feet up. But if you have your feet shod, if you got something on your feet, you can walk through some terrain, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. I got, I got to have the right shod on my feet. So while I'm walking, amen, of God, and I'm, I'm, I'm walking you out of denial now because we're talking about, amen, of God, where are you living at? Amen, now some of y'all are living in denial. Amen, and you're living in denial because you're acting like, amen, of God, nobody knows what's going on. But God knows everything. It shouldn't be what folk know. It should be what God. And if you're tired of losing battles, if you're tired, amen, of God, amen, of being defeated, it's time to put some shoes on. Somebody said put some shoes on. Hallelujah, amen to God. I'm putting shoes on. The shoes is the word of God. Because if I'm going to get through this terrain, if I'm going to get through 2014, amen, areas that I could not walk in in 2013, but if I begin to put my feet shot in the preparation of the gospel, amen to God, and I put my shoes on, amen to God, when I begin to walk through, amen to God, the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Amen. God, I got my shoes on. Amen. When I'm walking through stuff, amen, and I'm walking through situations where somebody begins to ask you, do you want something to smoke? Amen. God, you say, I got my shoes on. Before, I couldn't walk around y'all folks. Amen. God, and I'd be tempted and whatnot. But now I say, I don't want nothing to smoke. Amen. Because I got my feet shod in the preparation of the gospel. Amen. God, they say, amen. God, do you want to fornicate? Amen. God, but because your feet are shod, amen, with the preparation of of the gospel. You can walk amongst the finest people and you can tell them that this body belongs to Jesus. Where are you living at? If you got shoes on your feet, you walk different. Amen. And, and I'm not judging anybody, but you know how you are walking. Amen. I put, I, I, I throw some rocks on the ground and, and you got your shoes off. You're going to walk differently barefoot across those rocks. Amen. If you had shoes on. And I'm telling you, amen to God, if you begin to get in the word of God, if you begin to start fasting, if you begin to start reading the word, if you get you a prayer life, not just when you go to bed, not just when you wake up, but you, amen to God, in all that ways begin to acknowledge him and he will direct your path. When you begin to walk over those rocks, and I'm going to keep saying that because I want somebody to get the analysis. Analogy. Amen. Because you're living around some rocks right now. Many of us are living around rocky neighborhoods, right? Many of us are living around rocky uh, 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 cities and stuff like that. But if you have your feet shod in the preparation of the gospel, you can maneuver in that city. Whatever your rock is that you're walking on top of, you might be walking on a rock, you're the only one saved at your job. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you got your spiritual shoes on, you can walk on top of the rocks. Amen. And you're not affected. You're not getting mad. You're not getting angry. You're not getting upset. You're not getting depressed. But if you don't have nothing on your feet and you're walking over the rocks, you're going, ouch, ouch. Every time you're walking, ouch, I'm, I'm losing another battle, ouch. Amen to God. But God wants us, amen to God, hallelujah, amen. If you're going to live in the word of God, amen, and not in denial, it's time to put your shoes on. Somebody said, I'm putting my shoes on. Amen to God. When I'm putting my shoes on, I can walk areas that I couldn't walk in before except ye abide in the ship you shall not be saved didn't say in denial didn't say in fear didn't say in the past many of us are walking in the past many of us are living in the past when they men of God a lot begin to come forward and God deliver him out Amen. He said, come on, we're moving forward. We're going into 2013. But, amen, I got Lot's wife, amen, I got looked back. And the Bible says she turned into a pillar of salt. In other words, she couldn't move anymore. She became a statue. And many of you, amen, I got who decided to live in the past, you find yourself a statue. I can't go forward I can't move to the side or the left or to the right. I can't, I'm paralyzed because of the past. Amen. I can't get past what folk did to me. I, I can't get past what folk said to me. So you find yourself paralyzed. But I'm telling you today, amen, to God, except you abide in the ship, you shall not be saved. So God don't want you to live in the past anymore. 
Amen. Hallelujah. It's time, amen, to move. It's time, amen, to break your lease. It's time, amen, for you to sell that house. It's time for you to get up out of the past and get into the boat. Because except you abide in the ship, you shall not be saved. They tell me that these people were on the boat, and they were looking with the eyes, and amen to God, they look like we're all going to die tonight. Amen. You might be in a situation right now, and, and amen to God, the devil might make, make you think, amen, unless I do this, I'm going to die tonight. So amen to God, I'm going to have to do this, or I'm going to have to do that. But God is telling you, except ye abide in the ship, you shall not be saved. Just like those shoes when you're walking over the territory, amen, if you abide in the ship, Amen to God, hallelujah, and, 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 and when you're in this boat, and amen to God, when stuff is happening all around you, when, when people, when you're the only one saved, amen to God, when you're the only one in your house that's saved, when you're the only one on your job that's saved, amen to God, that you are in the boat, amen, God will begin to protect you, amen, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, but you got to be living in the house, you can't be visiting, somebody said you can't be visiting. Amen, God, amen, don't want you just this visit. He said, if you were, amen, a warm, amen, a God, I spit you out my mouth because I would that you be hot or that you would be cold. Amen, a God, I want you to live here. You can't just come here sometimes. How would you like it if you had a companion? Amen, a God, and they would just come to visit you every now and then, but you realize that they live somewhere else. Hallelujah. But they would come and see you, but they live somewhere else. Amen. In other words, where you live at is where you got all your stuff at. Amen. Where you live at is where you care about stuff at. Where you live at, amen, to God, is all what, 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 what really is where you live at. And somebody is saying today, amen, to God, but, but how can I move? Amen. I've been living here a long time. Amen. I got a lot of stuff invested in here. If I leave now, I'm going to lose all of that. But the Bible says, amen, that he that, gained, that loses his life for Christ's sake shall gain his life in everlasting. I'm telling you, amen, to God right now, amen, it's time to move. Somebody said it's time to move. Amen, to God, I'm moving into 2014. Amen, yes, 2013 was crazy. Amen, to God, but I was living somewhere else in 2013. In 2013, amen, I didn't have no spiritual shoes on my feet. In 2013, every time, amen, I had to walk somewhere, amen, and I saw the rocks, amen, and whatnot, and I saw the bad terrain, I would either avoid walking there, Amen. Or I would walk on there and I would get hurt and I would get cut. Amen. I'm talking to somebody that got cuts on them right now. Amen. You got cuts that's very deep right now. You got scars on you. Amen. From walking over terrain because, amen, God, you didn't go through it as a good soldier. But, amen, God, we are telling you it's time to move. How many of y'all live in neighborhoods where there's shooting going on? Amen. You're living in neighborhoods where they're selling drugs and whatnot. You're living in neighborhoods where the prostitution at. And you're saying, Lord, it's time for me to move. When all of this stuff is going on, God said to the Lord, well, I don't have the money to move. Hallelujah. Lord, I, I, I don't have the money to get there. God said, amen, God, I'm not telling you physically to get out of there, but I'm telling you your mind has to get out of there because the Bible said, as a man thinketh, so is he. So if your mind can live in a different place, that you can be in prison right now, but your mind can live in a certain place. In other words, yes, you got me captive in this jail, but this is not where, amen, I live. It might be where I stay, but it's not where I live. Yes. I'm in the hospital, amen, God. And yes, this is where I am at right now, but it's not where I stay at. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's where your mind is at. God is concerned about the mind today, amen, God. Yes, amen, God, we are in 2014 now, but some of our mind is still in 2013. Some of y'all still living in the past, but I'm coming to you right now telling you it's time to move. I'm the sheriff, amen, God, amen, God, and I'm telling you, amen, God, get your stuff. It's time to move, amen, God. Somebody says it's time to move, amen, God, amen, God, just like in the book of Acts, amen, God, when they 
heard this message, amen, of God, they begin to burn their books of witchcraft. They begin to burn, amen, their books to idols. Amen, of God, those of you that's listening to this broadcast right now, I want you to get up, amen, right where you at and say it's time to move. Amen, of God, those of you that got stuff in your house, amen, on your computers now, somebody needs to start deleting some stuff. Amen, because it's where your mind is living at. And this message is going to take you into 2014 back into the boat. Except you abide in the ship, you shall not be saved. So somebody ought to be getting up and running around the house right now, throwing some stuff out in the name of Jesus. Because this is not just a talk message today. Amen. This The Bible talks about the book of Acts because they were doing something. It's a verb. It's a word of action. When they heard the word, it's time to move. It's time to move. Amen. Amen. If my mind is going to be in a, a spiritual place, amen, it's time to move. I go go to my computer. I got to delete. I got to delete this. I got to delete. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm helping you move right now. Hallelujah. Amen. I got, I got to delete this. I got to, somebody else, amen, God, you're going into your DVD collection. Amen. It's time to throw some stuff out. Amen. It's time to move. Amen. I, I, I can't live enough. I'm in 2014. I can't, oh, come on, somebody. I got to go in my phone. I got to, I got to delete phone numbers. I got to delete pictures. Oh, come on. This is about renunciation, right? Amen. I got, because amen, except you abide in the ship, you can't be saved. If you want to live in the past, if you want to live in denial, if you want to live in fear, you cannot be saved. So, amen. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, go to your phone. Go to your phone. Go to your phone. Hallelujah. I, I, amen, amen. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Somebody, amen, I got to begin to press a button. Amen. I'm deleting that. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. That was 2013. I'm del- oh, come on, somebody. Except ye abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. I'm moving. You cannot live in the past. You cannot abide in the past. There is death in the past. There is death in denial. There is death in fear. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody else, amen, I got, you don't look to your phone now. You don't move. You don't move. Somebody said, I'm still moving. Hallelujah. Even if you're walking up, now I got to get it out of my mind. Amen. I got to announce some stuff. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm moving. See, this is part of moving. Amen. You got to renounce. You got to verbally say some things, right? I cannot hear you right now, right? I cannot see you right now. But amen, I got out of sitting here today to help you move. Hallelujah. Except you abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody walking around, I renounce you. I renounce. Well, come on. You know what you need to renounce. In the name, I want you to say it. I can't hear you. Amen, God. It's time to move. I can't take you with me. Amen, God. If you try to take something on the plane, it's going to cost you. And if you try to take that stuff into 2014, it's going to cost you. Amen, God. Y'all know to take planes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They charge you for taking extra stuff on the plane. Amen to God. And it's going to be a charge if you try to bring that into 2014. So I'm telling you to leave those bags. Amen. Just come with what you got. In the name, oh, come on, somebody. Begin to renounce in the name of Jesus. It's going to cost. Somebody say, it's going to cost me if I bring this luggage into 2014. You need to say that out loud, somebody. Come on, somebody. Uh, come on, we in deliverance now. Come on, somebody. It's going to cost me if I bring this into 2014. Oh, come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus, I renounce. I renounce. I, ren- I cannot bring you with me. I can't. Oh, come on. Somebody's still deleting out of their phone right now. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody, somebody's still on the computer. Amen. Deleting. Somebody, 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 amen. The God going through different things in your house. Somebody throwing stuff out of the refrigerator. Amen. In the name of, I cannot, I cannot put this in the temple anymore. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Some of us live in denial. Some live in the past. Some live in fear. But the Bible says, Except ye abide in the ship, you shall not be saved. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody, somebody's still abiding. Somebody's still abiding. Where you living at? Where you living at? Where you living at? Somebody says, it's time to move. It's time to move. Amen. God, I'm walking through my house right now, right? Amen. Somebody is throwing something out. In the name, I renounce you in the name of Jesus. Hey, come on, pull that out the refrigerator. Amen. The Bible talks about, know ye not that your body is the temple of God. If you are putting things in your body, amen, to God, how are you? You are harming the body. You became an enemy of the body. So, amen, to God, 
we're going to take that out of the refrigerator. Amen to God. And I renounce you. I refuse to bring you with me in 2014. Amen to God. I'm not going to live in denial anymore. It's not the devil doing it. It's me. It's not the devil doing it no more. It's me. It's not the devil doing it no more. It's me. How, come on. Come on, somebody. Don't live in denial. God didn't tell you to live in denial. He said, where? Except you abide in the ship. He said, live in the word of God. Don't live in denial. Amen. So I'm moving you out of denial right now. Come on, somebody. It's not the devil. It's me. Come on, somebody. It's not the devil. Oh, see, you came to the wrong place if you thought we was going to give the devil praise today. It's not the devil. It's me. It's not the devil. It's me. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Accept your body in the ship. Come on. Come on. Move. It's time to move. It's time to move. Amen to God. If you're getting up right now, you're walking through your house. It's time to move. Amen. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Except you abide in the ship. Except you live in this thing. You got to live this thing. This is where you live at. Amen. If you want to walk under the tent, why do you think he said, have your feet shod in the preparation of God? You can't walk everywhere unless you got something on your feet. I'm trying to tell you. I'm giving you a tool today. This is what you put on your feet. When you're moving in the word of God, it's going to get you through. Fasting is going to get you through. Praying is going to come on somebody. Amen. It's time to put this word here. Somebody sitting down and putting their spiritual shoes on. I couldn't walk there before, praise the Lord. Before, amen to God, when I walked over the rocks, I cut my feet. Before, when I tried to say no, I would hurt myself, amen to God. I felt bad saying no. Oh, but now that I got my spiritual shoes on, my feet are shod now. Somebody say my feet are shod. That means something is on my feet. Now that your feet are shod, you can walk over to that territory and you can say no. You can walk over there and say, amen, 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 I will let nothing separate me from the love of God. Oh, come on, somebody. It's time to move. It's time to move. It's time to move. Amen to God. Live. Where you living at? Where you living at? Amen. Are you moving yet? Hallelujah. Amen to God. Don't worry about the boxes. You got spiritual movers. You got angels that's going to help you move. All you have to do is renounce it. And then the angels are going to be charged. They're going to be activated. If you want to activate your angels to help you move, you got to renounce it in the name of Jesus. Now it's time to say it out loud. Amen. Amen. Many of us had fear. I'm living in fear. Lord, amen to God. If I get rid of that man, how I'm going to live. If I get rid of that woman, Lord, how I'm going to live. If I stop drinking, God, I'm going to have to deal with this. If I stop the drugs, I'm going to have to deal with this, God. If I stop this lifestyle, I'm going to have to deal. Come on, somebody. I've been living in fear. But now, now it's time to move. It's time to move in the name of Jesus. We are in 2014, God. Hallelujah. It's time to move. That old address ain't good no more. You're in a different season. Amen. I, I read to you earlier that the season has changed. Amen. But God, because of different weather patterns. Weather patterns let you know what the season is. Amen. Whether it's daylight or will, do it get day longer? Do it get night longer? Lord, my nights have been longer. Lord, it's a different season now because now... I'm saved, God. Now, amen to God, I confess you with my mouth, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. Now, amen, I'm going to, amen to God, be a practicing Christian. Somebody say practicing Christian. Amen to God. I'm going to be a practicing Christian. Amen. I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm not going to just go to church or just read. I'm going to be a practicing Christian. And, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Where you living at? Amen to God. We in your room right now, right? Amen to God. We in your bedroom right now, right? In the name of Jesus. The Bible the Bible says, amen, except ye abide in the ship, ye shall not be saved, amen. Hallelujah, where you're living at, where you're living at, amen, are you in denial? Are you in the past? Are you living in fear? Where you, are you living in any of those three things? Amen. If you're in the past, you got to move. Amen. You got to come out of the past in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's still walking the floor and renouncing it. Amen. Somebody said, I'm moving and giving God the glory. you walking back across your floor right now shouting, saying, I'm moving in the name of Jesus. you giving God the glory. I am moving right now. Hallelujah, God. I refuse to live in fear. I don't like that house. I refuse to live in denial. I don't like that house. I refuse to live in the past. I don't like that house. In the, oh, come on, somebody. I'm moving. I'm moving in the name of Jesus. I'm moving. Somebody said, I'm moving right now. Hallelujah, God. Yes, it's 2014, oh God. But I have to move. You said amen to God. This, I got to lay aside every weight and the sin that does easily beset me. I got to move. I got to lift up them boxes. I got to lift up them thoughts and whatnot. I got to cast down the imaginations in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get you to move, amen. Except you abide in the ship. Yes, the storm is hitting the boat right now. Amen. The, 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 
the, the, the letters are coming to the house. Amen. They got the financial letters are coming to the house. Amen. They got the, the bills are coming to the house. Amen. They got accusations are coming to you and whatnot. Yes, yes, the storm is coming. But I'm telling you, except you abide in the ship. You shall not be saved. I'm not telling you to live in fear no more. I can't go with your ride with you, amen to God, saying, amen to God, if I don't do this, uh, uh, if I don't pay my tithes, if I, if I cheat my tithes, I can pay this bill. I can't go there with you no more. Except you abide in the ship, you cannot be saved in denial. I can't, amen to God, I can't look at you with your feet cut up no more. Amen, amen. I remember I used to have a, a foot fetish. Amen to God. And I would say, amen to God, every time I meet a woman, I would give her certain shoes and whatnot. These shoes go to take you for this occasion, but I'm trying to tell you, amen to God, that you can't walk anywhere without shoes on your feet, I'm trying to tell you, amen, we giving you some shoes now, hallelujah, amen to God, it's time to come out of denial, amen to God, that's why your feet hurt, amen to God, that's why you've been wearing the wrong size, I'm talking to somebody, amen, you know how y'all wear the wrong sizes, amen, because the shoe is cute, amen to God, but the shoe shouldn't be, amen, cute, amen, for spirituality, the shoe should be something to aid you in your movement, the shoe you should be some armor, but amen to God, it should be some defense, amen to God, but it's not for the appearance, so those of you that's walking around hurting your toes right now, say it's time for me to get me some shoes that fit, in the name of Jesus, oh glory, hallelujah, I'm not worried about how I look to folk anymore, I need something to get me through this terrain, I'm coming out of denial, in the name of Jesus, I'm putting on, on my feet, it's getting shod in the preparation of the gospel, now I'm going to be able to walk, I couldn't walk around them before, when they were smoking, I had to get something. When they were having sex, I had to be having sex. But now that my feet are shod in the preparation of the gospel, I can walk anywhere. Oh, bless his name. Where are you living at? Except you abide in a ship, ye shall not be saved. Amen. Somebody said amen to God. Hallelujah. I'm moving. Amen. I'm moving. Oh. I'm moving. Oh. I'm moving. Okay. I'm moving. Why don't you just get up right now where you have to, if you're sitting in your car, just begin to give God a wave offering and give God a wave offering and say, I'm moving. Amen. Begin to decree and declare. Except you abide in a ship, you can't be saved. You got to move. Amen. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Because when the Lord get ready, you got to move. You may be rich, you got to move. You may be poor, you got to move. You may be on the street, you got to move. You may be home. But when the Lord get ready, you got to move. Hallelujah. You got to move. You got to move. Amen. We leave you with that tool today. Hallelujah. Reason that you're living where you're living at. Because you are not abiding in the ship. God wants you to live in the word of God. Not in fear. God wants you to live in the word of God. Not in denial. God wants you to live in the word of God. Not in the past. Except you abide in the ship. Ye shall not be saved. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. We turn it back in the hand. Amen. Of Sister Ruby Larry. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ooh, God bless you, a Minister Democrat. That was a word. I say, Lord, I thank you. Gotta move. The safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. The Trials be great, and the way seems hard, it's in the will of God. It may be on the mountain peak, or in the valley low, but wherever 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 it may be if god says go oh, oh, go go the devil
able to lose in all the world there's danger in the land but I That the safest place is in the master's hands. It may be on the battlefront. The prison walls, but wherever, wherever, wherever it may be, if God says go. Oh, 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 oh,